Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and sharing commentary with me as usual is Stuart Robson. And excited to be bringing you action from the Premier Division coming up next. Stuart, what are your expectations for today? Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, a 4-4-2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the full-back and winger, and, of course, the centre-backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, they've got a good front three and a solid back five, but with only two in midfield, they could get overrun. It'll be interesting to see who comes in to support them, if anybody. And so the battle commences. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? So we have an early booking here to report, Stuart. Yeah, and I think the referee's absolutely right. He's just making it clear to all the players out there he's not going to take any messing about here. giving the ball to the opposition that time and the flag is up offside well that's just a lack of awareness he was clearly in an offside position Gannon Watts in the right place to intercept can he do it to take the lead couldn't quite hang on oh just wide of the mark goal kick well that never looked like troubling the keeper did it but it was worth an effort a good strike from him Watts, useful looking position you've got to say and out of play, the pass nearly worked out but not quite Boyle this might have potential an important interception O'Neill and the pass not quite accurate enough and a throw in then Watts Byrne Sean Gannon In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. 
Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Can he give them the advantage? Well, that was easy on the eye, and he didn't miss by much. Well, that's how to counter-attack. They did it with such pace, just couldn't finish it off. High pressing work for them here. Now well, the keeper should grab hold of it. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. And it's with Lopez. And out for a throw in. The pass could have been better. Webster, Connolly, McNamee, can he put it away? And he couldn't bag the first goal of the contest. Well, I can't believe he's missed the target there. That's a poor finish. Watts Burn Well as you can see the visitors have had most of the ball but they haven't done enough with it particularly in the midfield areas where their passing has been far too safe and that needs to change quickly if they're to win this one A chance to whip it in well, they're keeping their Big chance and there it is 1-0 their efforts have been rewarded and look at the celebrations well here we can see it again it's a beautifully weighted ball behind the back line and the finish is just as good that's an excellent goal Are back underway and 1-0 it is let's see what happens next and the emphasis is on creativity O'Neill an incisive pass and it all counts for naught must be oh he's blocked it Well, that is how to run at defenders. Able to deal with the threat. We're putting it wide from there. A pity, really. Lopez. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully, we see more of him in the second half. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Lions. Lopez. Watts. Byrne. Gannon.
And a poor attempt at a challenge, and on he goes. Can they get in behind them? A real defensive commitment there. Timlin. It's with Connolly. And can they prize them open now? It's a neat move. And given away. Bodies forward and the break looks on. O'Neill. Lions. It is a decent looking attack here. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. do from here but really sticking to the task defensively Watts a oh, lovely incisive pass well clattered away giving the ball to the opposition that time Giving the ball away. 20 minutes remaining. Playing with purpose and control. Gives it a go. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. And with play stop, they will make the change now. <laughs> Elects to go short. Back. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Graham Buck O'Neill Now they stopped them in their tracks They are making headway but really they need a goal with time not on their side Sean Gannon Watts Gannon patient build up at the moment and a chance to whip it in here Sean Gannon there to win it back and so into the final five minutes Gannon Watts has the strength to hang on to it oh he's given it away intense pressure well the fans are driving their team on here but can they respond with a goal time is running out and there it is the final whistle not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today defeat for them well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's made his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.